Hey Alan here. So today I want to share a video that I made two years ago for Halloween 2014 and it's a trunk or treat setup I did in my 2011 Honda Pilot. I've got uh, 30 hand carved uh, jack-o'-lanterns all to have this Pepper's Ghost effect inside a big pumpkin and here's the Pepper's Ghost effect inside the middle pumpkin. So that's the Pepper's Ghost effect. It's surrounded by a bunch of jack-o'-lanterns. And in the floor, I created uh, a scrim, which is basically a, a piece of plexiglass with a see-through cloth on top. So when you uh, light it from inside, you see the skeleton. And from the outside, it looks just like the floor of the car. Uh, anyway, I created this video two years ago, and I uh, never took the time to create a, to finish it and upload it to YouTube. So here's the finished video that I made two years ago, which shows how I created this trunk or treat in my Honda Pilot. Hope you enjoy it. I just want to do a quick video to show you how I did my Halloween trunk or treat. Uh, you just saw the video of the trunk or treat from last night, and I had 29 pumpkins all spread around on the top shelf and the bottom shelf. But the, the whole idea of the pumpkins was really just to highlight the Pepper's Ghost effect in the middle. So we had that one pumpkin in the middle with a haunted image inside of this floating skeleton. Um, you can see there's just a shelf in here of 2 by 4s and I had some cloth thrown over the top of it so it would sort of hide uh, the shelf and then I just had pumpkins everywhere and this is you know this pumpkin was really just a simple Pepper's Ghost effect using a computer monitor and a movie I bought off the internet from Spectral Illusions and uh, that's about it a little bit of trial and error so I'll take the shelf out of the car and I'll show you how it works in the garage. The other effect I used for the trunk or treat is something called the scrim effect, S-C-R-I-M. And all it is is a, it's a black cloth that's fairly uh, see-through. So when it's dark underneath you don't see anything. But when you light it from underneath you can see through it and, and it illuminates what's behind the cloth. So all I did was take a piece of plywood and cut it out and underneath Underneath is my uh, strip of LED lights set up on a sensor with a remote and some skeletons and the, underneath the board is just a piece of plywood cut to fit the car with a piece of plexiglass mounted on top and just some black, really cheap black material I picked up at Cloth World and I just stretch it over the top and when you put it in place it looks like the floor of the car and when you light it from underneath you see the skeleton. Uh, it was a pretty good effect. It worked well. I know there's a lot of stuff on the internet about using special cloth for scrim. I bought the cheapest cloth I could find at, um, at my local, I think it was Cloth World. And, you know, I just held it up to the light and if you could see through it and see light, it seemed to work really well. So that's the scrim effect. So here's how my Pepper's Ghost display works. I've got a table made of spare 2x4s and some plywood. And the top of the table here is actually plexiglass and if we look at the back got a monitor inside hooked up to a laptop where I run the image or the video so inside the pumpkin where you can see the image is a piece of glass it's actually a piece of plexiglass that I slid inside the pumpkin. It's mounted in. It's really hard to see in the video, but it's there. I cut a slit here and here, and I uh, used thin plexiglass that I cut to fit, and I could slide it in and sort of wedge it in place at a 45 degree angle. Had to play with the angle a little bit to get it to work right, but you know, just a little bit of trial and error moving it around. Um, and there's the image coming through the monitor. underneath the plexiglass. You see just a computer monitor slid in place. Uh, worked pretty well. I put some a little bit of paint in the front and some black tape around the edge of the pumpkin to try to minimize the amount of light that reflected up onto the pumpkins outside. 
and I had some I had some uh, old black cloth that I stuck around the base of the pumpkin to hide it, and it looked pretty good at night. When I did some internet research on this, there were some people talking about not being able to use a flat screen monitor because it doesn't go true black, and it's true to some degree, but when I'm doing the trunk or tree, there's other light around, and in the pitch dark with a with a monitor, you can see the the blackness of the monitor was actually lit up inside the pumpkin, but in the real world, when there's a little bit of outside light, it still makes the pumpkin look dark inside and you can't really see it. So I thought the flat screen worked really well. Okay, one more look at the pumpkin. It's just a, a big pumpkin with the bottom cut out and a piece of glass in here at a 45 degree angle. It's actually not glass. It's plexiglass. Uh, I bought a sheet at Home Depot or Lowe's and um, it's, it's thin enough that you can, it's flexible, what I think is important. Because to get it in and out, you sort of have to be able to move it around. I cut two slots in the pumpkin and it comes right out that way. And that's all it is. Well, there's my video from 2014 for my Pepper's Ghost Trunk or Treat. Um, one more point is on the pumpkins, I didn't use candles. I used battery-powered tea lights that I bought off of Amazon. I bought like a, I had like a hundred of them. Um, even if you can't do a Pepper's Ghost, using the jack-o'-lanterns in the back of an SUV on some shelving was a great idea. It was a big hit. Uh, the Pepper's Ghost just sort of brought it over the top. Um, anyway, hope you enjoyed my trunk or treat video from 2014.